Okay, I'm trying to record this video again because my headphones apparently didn't work. I received a, vi a message from my little sister this morning, and I just wanted to show y'all. Um, first off, this is the last thing that I ever sent to her. Get help yourself. See a counselor. Tell them you don't think it was that bad. I didn't either until I looked deeper. Good luck. Those are the last words I ever said to my little sister. The last words she ever says to me are, I will continue to make your life hell because that's all you deserve is pain and suffering. She says, wow, you never cease to amaze me. Grow up, Mary. Damn, get a job. Stop begging people for money. Mom died, yes, but not from her fucking kidneys. You know nothing. You call me a druggie, but you smoke weed too, so who's the druggie now? You have no right to put anyone's name in your nasty ass mouth, especially mom when you did everything in your power to hurt her. Fuck you and the horse you rode in on. I don't give a fuck. Your ass is going to regret everything you said about this family, putting lies out there. I will continue to make your life hell, because that's all you deserve is pain and suffering. So, this is my little sister. This is, you know... It, this is my family <laughs> like you guys are constantly telling me that they're not abusive that i'm lying about this just because they're not putting their hands on me doesn't mean they're not hateful and cruel and willing to do anything in their power to hold, keep me down and hurt me because they de believe that all i deserve is pain and suffering this is not some random troll this is not even my aunt or her children. This is my actual little sister. And her actual thought process for my life is, every time she thinks about me, all she thinks is, is all I deserve is pain and suffering. That is the epitome of an abusive family member.